At least we're just going to what, Wall Street? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got to, got to go to the money road. Wall Street in the middle of nowhere. Literally in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. That's okay though. That's why we come out here. Dude, this thing's like way crazy cruising around out here. This this was actually a really good I think veering off that we that we did. Yeah, heading out back to the back roads and then with the 700 horsepower Z behind us too. Yeah, can't go wrong when you have a 700 horsepower Z behind you. Heck no. Also hitting the speed that we did out on these roads. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Mexico. Yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Just gotta drive back a little ways and hit our main road area. Yeah. I mean, we're not too far off. No, we'll get back to that, do some rips, and then uh, head over to Wall Street. Head over to Wall Street, Money Road. Yeah, because that road actually looked pretty new. Yeah, they had to have just paved it. Yeah. Yeah, we for sure need new tires on the Um, yes, especially after today. This car is real nice. Definitely has surpassed my expectations of it, especially with the tune and the exhaust. You know, it really makes it come to life. So, um, power does really hit more on the top end with this ABT tune, but you know, you can only use that in some certain locations out here, but still makes for a very nice drive and definitely gets some eyes and heads turning once you see it. Yeah, it's not really a uh, hear it. low speed tune. Definitely not. It's like power kicks in after third or fourth gear, really. Yeah.
think our next step for this bad boy is going to be some downpipes, intercooler intake, and then uh, stage two. -er. Try to max out the ABT module where we have it, and then map it up to a full ECU flash. Which tune are we thinking? Probably IE or Unitronic seem to be the two that make the most power on these cars. Yeah, I think so too. I've had multiple people tell me Unitronic is the way to go. But if everybody has it, it makes me want to do something different. Yeah. Now, there's a lot more companies in the UK, like Power Division in Poland and like Europe, that have these cars with big turbos on them making 1,100 wheels. Whew. Now, they're to use their own software. I don't know if we can get our hands on their software, because that would be a 6H2 software. And then have them eventually build up and send us their turbos. That would be nice. Wait, 1100 was stage two, or is that their stage three? No, that's their big turbo. Oh, okay. Um, I think Power Division stage two puts about 750 to the ground, <laughs> from what I remember saying. Some pretty good numbers right there. I mean, they have a stage one SQ7 that makes 650 wheels. Jeez. Yeah. The SQ7s are no joke. No. Where was that pump house at? It's <laughs> coming up around one of these bends. I think it's. I think it's after this one, actually. Because doesn't it swoop around? No, this one's straight out. Oh. oh. I think we got a car in front of us. Yeah, there's a truck up there. It's got horses too. I'm not flying past no horses. No, we can't scare the horses. No. Well, this would be an easy trip to Wall Street. With the boo cows out here. Yeah, so it's cruised over to Wall Street, the money road. Should be a uh, good little tester and do some zero to 60s. I think so. Launch control in an ABT RSX. One, two, go!